The Milwaukee Admirals are 3-0 and in the 16-17 campaign after defeating the Chicago Wolves on Wednesday night in Chicago by the final score of 2-1. All three of Milwaukee's wins have been by scores of 2-1. Two, two in San Antonio and the one on Wednesday night against the Wolves. In that game, Trevor Smith scored his first as an Admiral. Austin Watson scored his 69th career goal as an Admiral and his 20th game winner in that contest. Yusuf Sados was magnificent in net. He stopped 30 shots. He has been magnificent against Chicago in his career. He is now 8-2 two against the Wolves. Tonight the Admirals travel to Rockford to take on the Ice Hogs. The Ice Hogs were in Grand Rapids last night so they'll have to drive home through the night to take on the Admirals at the BMO Harris Bank Center in Rockford. One of the new Admirals that is really making an impression so far is forward Harry Zolnerchuk and we had a chance to speak with him earlier today. With one of the newest Admirals forward Harry Zolnerchuk, uh, your time so far in Milwaukee. You've been here a couple of weeks. What do you think? That's been great. It's, uh, you know, I've had a lot of fun uh, we've got a great group of guys here, and it's, uh, it's made for an easy transition. So I'm, uh, I'm excited to be a part of the organization and, and down here in Milwaukee right now, and uh, we're looking to, uh, to keep things rolling. You were with a pretty good group in San Diego, good group of people, I think, last year in San Diego. Kind of the same feeling here, I think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, we had a great, great group of guys there. We had a nice little run, and uh, I'm uh, looking to hopefully uh, kind of repeat some of that here this year. So what brought you to Nashville organization? Uh, you know, just the opportunity, I think, obviously. Uh, like everybody here, I mean, your, your ultimate goal is to play in the NHL. And, uh, you know, for me, I've, uh, I've been down the Myers the last couple of years, and it, uh, I'm looking to get back. So I thought uh, this was uh, a place with good opportunity and um, some familiar faces with, uh, with Coach LaViolette yeah. and, and McCarthy there, who I had in Philly. Uh, and ultimately, yeah, I mean, just looking to, uh, to ultimately, you know, get back to my goal and, and get back to that the NHL. Gonna be, that was going to be my next comment was most of your games in the NHL, you have 60 of them. Most of them have been with Coach Laviolette and Coach McCarthy. That's right, yeah. So, I mean, it's, uh, it's always nice to be able to go to, uh, you know, a new team, but, you know, with they trust you. faces, yeah, and, and someone that you've played for before and, and has the trust in, in putting you out on the ice. So, I mean, uh, you know, with that said, I'm here just working, you know, trying to make my game better and, and ultimately put myself in a spot to, uh, to get called up and, and play. For, from my vantage point, this team has gelled so quickly and, and I think and I'm going to tell a tale a little bit out of school uh, heading over to San Antonio before the first game uh, a song comes on and and there was quite a group that started to sing yeah, yeah. Uh, this Fleetwood Mac song on the bus it was pretty neat I hadn't experienced anything like that yeah <laughs> you know I think uh, and I mean that just goes you know to the guys that have been here you know the past few years and uh, I mean they've built a, a great foundation within you know the locker room you know between the coaches and players and uh I think it's made it easier for some of the older guys, you know, like myself and Smith and and Irwin and and Flo to come in here and, and you know just ultimately kind of join what's already you know started here and we're just looking to add to that and uh, and keep things rolling. It's a brand new building here. It's a brand new building for you, but it's a brand new building for fans in Milwaukee. Uh, how have you found it? And what was it like to skate on the ice there for the first time for an Admirals team since 1987? Yeah, we're, we're really excited. And for me, I mean, you know, down in, when you're down in the AHL, not too many dressing rooms you get to walk into it and feel like you're almost in a, a bit of an NHL establishment and, that, and that's what they've built here and and that's pretty special to, to have something down here and I mean the the rink uh, you know I think it'll suit uh, it'll suit this league a little better it seems like we'll be able to pack it and, and it'll be pretty loud and, and I mean the ice and the ice has been great I mean it's, uh, we skated on it yesterday for the first time and um, it was good, and it's only going to get better as uh, as we kind of keep skating on it, and they keep kind of working on it. So it'll, it'll be ready to go for that home opener. Yeah, as you have gone in your career, have you had the arch rivals in the American Hockey League that maybe you'll find more in Milwaukee? The Chicago one is certainly, and Rockford tonight has been a, a big rival, obviously. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, obviously, I'm a little unfamiliar with you know the the rivalry here, but I've been made aware of it you know pretty quickly, and. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, they just develop, you know, throughout the season. And, uh, you know, we had it in, in San Diego playing a team like Ontario. And, um, you know, when we were in Adirondack, you know, I first started playing Albany. I mean, you know, when you play a team 10, 12 times yeah, in a exactly. season, I, I mean, you know, things are just are going to build up. Is, so. it, is it more for the fans or do the players feel involved in that too? Uh, no, the players are definitely involved. I mean, the fa you know, the fans love it because it's back and forth. But, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's there. The players are playing against each other. Uh, I mean, things that kind of stir up on the ice are... Uh, are things that lead into the next game, and, and you just got to try and you know keep your emotions in check, and and uh, you know keep what's uh, keep your focus in mind there. Absolutely. Good luck tonight. Thank you. All right, that's Harry Zolnerchuk. Face off tonight from Rockford is at seven o'clock. Pre-game coverage starts at six thirty on Sports Radio one hundred five seven FM. The Fan. The Admirals have one more road game. That's next Friday, the twenty eighth in Des Moines, Iowa, against the Wild, and then they'll return home a week from tonight to take on the Wild in the first game at UW Milwaukee Panther Arena. A six o'clock face off. For more information, go to milwaukeeadmirals.com. Clear.